to the activity structures of drug. When you are, let me go to pop chem again. Pop chem. Let's go to pop chem. Make for me. Okay, now, when you are doing drug discovery using computer aided drug design, majority of the software of the programming you will be using will require you to have, will require your drug or your compound to be in 2D structure, sorry, 3D structures. And you may be fortunate to have 2D structure of those. TVD structure of whatever company or drug you are working with on the internet. For example, metformin. TVD structure of metformin is on the internet, right? But there are some drugs that do not, they do not, they do not have 2D structure, TVD structure. You can only find them as TVD structure. Are you getting me? So let me let me try to look for one one of such compound. Let me, let me try to guess. I think I, I look for one. Okay, I think this drug does not have. I'm not sure, but let me try to okay, if it has. Okay. So anyway, let's just let's 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 go. Let's, in case let me just show you in case you come across any. I can't really guess right now. But I'm telling you, there are a lot of compounds on PopChem or any other database that you can't get their TVD structures. That you can only get their TVD structures. That you, that you can't get that TVD structure, you can only get TVD structure. So if you encounter such problem, don't bother, don't stress yourself. It's nothing. Are you getting me? It's nothing. It's something you can do yourself. So now, if you want to if you, if you want to do your drug discovery and you need TVD structure, just click on TVD if your compound has PD and come to download. For example, pop them and there are different formats, but the one that the software will be using, and that is what majority of the software uses use is the SDF format. Are you getting me? And you can click on it, just click and, and save it. It automatically save onto your desktop download folder. So let me show you this show in folder. Can you see? It is here already. So now, once it shows in folder, this is the TVD. You can you can look at it. There is no software on your laptop that can look at the structure. You have to download the, the software, and one of such software is Chimera. Chimera. So this is so let me let let me go and open. Let me go and open that structure of my for me for you. Go to my download. I hope I'm able to get. I don't know which one I used to. Can you see this? We can't see what you're showing, Dr. Joe. Hey, okay. I'm coming. I understand what happened there now. Okay. Can you see this now? Yes, we can. Okay, so this is the structure of metformin that I downloaded from PopChem. So I, I'm, I'm able to open it because I use a software called Chimera. Called Chimera. So this Chimera can only open 3D structure. It can only open. So if, it, if you have 3D structure, you are fine. You make use of it for your molecular docking and anything you want to do. Are you getting me? But there are some instances that you are not, you are not, you are not able to get. You are not getting the 3D structure. 
Are you getting me? And you need, and there are some instances whereby you, you come to pop them or any database, there is no TVD structure. What you, what you only have is 2D. What will you do? Because most of the software you want to use, we are using for, we are using for drug discovery, only uses TVD structure. Now you get to your database, you only get 2D structure. What will you do? What you do is, there is no problem about that. Download the 2D structure. Just the same way, click on it, download it as SDL. This is 2D structure. It's different from TVD structure. Let me, if I should open this on camera right now, you will see it's, it's, it's going to open, but it's not going to open as 3D. Let me, let me look for it. Structure, 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 structure. So I have a lot of a lot of download. <laughs> so let me look for. Okay, this is. Can you see? It's not able to open it because it's in two D. I may have not be able to open it because I have it in 2D. Let me try another one. Can you see? It's not even giving me something reasonable. So once camera cannot do that, the only thing you can do is to use another, you use another, you can use another software called Avogadro. Avogadro. Avogadro we combat the this structure into TVD structure for you. Are you getting me? So I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm, that's, I just want to show you how to convert from two 2D and TVD structure. We are going to. I'm going to do how to do the installation. So now, let's go to. Once you open your Avogadro, go to open. Go to your download wherever you save your TVD structure. This is the TVD structure I just, I just downloaded now. Use it. Avogadro will ask you, this file does not contain TVD coordinates. Do you want Avogadro to be a rough geometry? That argument is talking about 3D. You say, yes. Avogadro will, this is a TVD structure. So Avogadro will convert the 2D TVD structure for you. Can you see that? As the way I used to, I used to understand. So to convert it for you, to whatever format, it will convert it to, to 2D. Once it converts it to 2D for you, you can then save it as 3D. Once it's converted to 3D, you can then save it as 3D now. And all you want to do is come to file, Save as you can just give it a name. Let's give it to make for me. Make for me. Make for me 3D. So there are different formats you can save it, but you save it as mold 2. Mold 2. And you can save it in let me save it on desktop. You can save it on whatever desktop format on another folder you want to save it to. So let's use this now. So if I should go to Chimera again now, I think I've closed Chimera. Chimera will be able to open it now because it's now in 3D. So let me go to open and let me, let me come to desktop. Desktop and that's match for me okay this match for me can you see this now so camera is able to convert it for us into camera uh, avogadro convert it from 2d to 3d and we are able to open it on cam on camera that's that's fine so another thing i want to show i want to show you is let me, I'm just showing this because I'm not, I'm, 
I'm not looking at the present, present work you are doing. I'm looking at your interest in the nearest future. That's why I'm showing some of these things before we go into. Now, let's assume you have a compound. You want to, you have a compound, you don't, you, you can't, you, you have the structure, but you don't have, it happens on rare occasions. And you want to draw, you want to draw your own structure by yourself in 2D and convert it to 3D. You can use what is called pop chem sketcher. Pop chem sketcher. Pop chem sketcher. Pop chem sketcher, we, we can use that pop chem sketcher to, to draw your diet, to draw whatever you, your structure you want to draw. Let's assume, let's, let's draw this structure. This structure here. And let's say there is another bond. I'm just showing you this. You that based on data, database, you are going to see your structure. But there are situations whereby you don't get these things. You have to make use of things like this. So just build, just build whatever you want to build. You can say, okay, I want to put a double, I want to put a bond. You understand? You can see as I'm building this thing, it's automatically filling in the canonical smile. And let's say there is, there is a lithium. And you see, it is a bond. So, if you just uh, put your structure, okay, maybe this is a maybe this is a nitrogen. Put it there. You put whatever you want to. Put, uh, no matter how, if any way your structure looks like, you put it there. You know. So maybe this is what you want here. So the this this the top term already has. Every, every structure, every element. Yours is just to arrange them the way they are in whatever compound you are working with. Are you getting me? So once you do that, you can you clean it so that you can have the, the right conformation. Come to clean. If you want to delete, you come to you click on. Delete. If you do some mistake, you can just click on undo. This is undo. Are you getting me? So once you have done this, you want to save it, you can save it, export it. Since you want to move, you want, if you want image, not 2D structure, you change it to image type. If you want, if you want 2D, you have to put it in MDL format. And once you do that, click on export. Automatically, can you see? It automatically comes to my downloaded into my, it's called, it will download it to your, to your download folder. So let me copy it, let me cut, cut it and paste it on my, on my desktop. Okay, let me, go, let me put it there. Let, so now, once you are able to do this, you can now open your Avogadro software. Open your Avogadro software, open, open this on Avogadro. Avogadro will convert it to 3D structure for you. You can now save it as 3D and use it for any anything you want to do maybe for molecular docking or for any other related studies you want to do Did you get my point so that's the way that's the way it is so that's so that's that any question from anybody any question any question before we so i want us to look at to go and look at the I want to show you how you, where you can download Avogadro now. Okay. Avogadro. This sharing is not showing. 